activate more gain. The signs of melanin. So if I'm talking about the signs, I'm talking about the things that you see in front of your pineal gland, that you see in front of your soul. And if you are able to decode them or not. Now that's obviously on you. It's on you if you can decode things that are sitting right in front of your skull, which is your school. I don't care if you went to school or not, because in the first place, it's about mastering your temple. Now, if I'm speaking about, about the mast, I'm speaking about your spine. I'm speaking about the secret of Kundalini. Now, the secret is the elixir. The elixir is urine. And it's a lot of different hormones that you carry inside of your roots. Talking about the root chakra. Talking about hell, where we basically burn here. Now, to explain that to you in a much more different format, in a format that you could basically better understand, I was creating this piece here for you. And as you can probably see, it's about putting different spells and letters and basically signs together to give you the original signs, which is rooted or structured chaos. That's basically what nature is. Because you should remember that you are the distiller, the, the distillery. Now, you might ask, and that sounds freaking bizarre. You drink in all colo and then you try to explain me something about reality. Well, in the first place, you have to understand that you are a self-sustaining unit, which is distilling down its own fuel. If you have not understand that, you still go to kindergarten. You're not even went to elementary school. You don't have no teachings about the elements. You have no teachings about how to construct basically with sound and what you have in your subconscious field that you create everything in your donut mirror. So how to activate the Morgan, how to crack the seed, how to realize the stress and why should you stress yourself? Now, the divine substance is like I said, sitting in the roots of your spine. This is where hell and also the healing process is. Now you heal yourself if you put the fire in your spine and you basically pull it up, you push it up into your head. Now this is also what this no fab culture says what semen retention does, and basically what all these ancient masters told us. Still, I don't know if these masters even existed. Because from my point of view, they are not mirroring it tra as transparent as we could to us. Why do they, do they speak in these mysteries? Maybe because it's about you have to figure, you have to study your own temple and you have to figure that out for your, for your own. But why not give you the complete blueprint to reality if somebody worked for it? So, you know, this is basically how we develop. This is how we, <laughs> the devil loop, you know, and this is basically what this place is, this realm. I mean, it's, an, it's a representation of our mind, but in the first place, I would say this is probably hell. We keep burning. It could also be heaven, you know, that depends on the perspective or the perception which you carry in your skull, in your skull. Because you, heaven is head, hell is heel. So that depends on the transmutation of your light or of your darkness, of your soul, of your energy, of your imagination that you basically push through your spine. And it depends on what kind of resonance you are. It depends on what kind of frequency, so to say. So if you're very low, you resonate in the lower energy system. That's not even, that's not bad or it's not good. I'm not here to, to judge that. 
It's only about that you know where your energy is located. If you know where your energy is located, this is what you will mirror out. This is what you're going to see. And this is why I'm telling you, become more black and activate the more again. I'm talking about the melanin. The melanin is the secret to Kundalini. And the melanin is produced by stressing yourself. And that's why you don't <laughs> develop because you don't go into the certain aspects of yourself where you do not like to be. You do not. You don't. It. Your subconscious mind. It's obvious. It's basically not the occulted version of you, the hidden aspect. Because if you start to see, if you start to break through, it's very obvious. But that depends on the depth, like I said in the last talks. It depends on the depth of your soul if you can decode the things that are sitting in front of you. And like I said, a lot of things are not... I'm not claiming to see through the whole thing. I have... Certain, I had certain realizations where I know this thing here is not real. It's a hologram. It's, it's, a, it's a matrix. It's a net. And on this net, we have certain objects represented to us that we basically break through, but they are actually not there. The only thing that is there is the black antimatter that sits in your brain and that you construct with the things that you have in front of you. And through that, this is how reality works. Reality works in a mirror process. At least that's what the bullshit that I think is what, what a cure is, you know? What the fuck do I know? I don't know. I don't know. I, I cannot know. It seems like it, this is how it works, but it's only working for me at that specific time. Because if you spell time backwards, you get to the word emit. Now, you emit the G-ray, the God ray, the generator, Operator destroyer ray through your eye, talking about the antimatter that sits in front of your skull or inside, so to say. Because the black hole, if you would get into the universe, you try to look with your telescopes into the universe, you try to look with your microscopes into the matter. Still, you have not realized the esoteric workings that are represented in front of you. And that's actually what is the same thing if you would go up into the sky with a rocket or if you would dig down the hole into the earth. It's always your own body because your body is your temple. Your temple is your church. Your church is your holy place, your palace, where you operate from. So if you have not mastered your body, you have not mastered anything. You have not mastered shit. You can only master your mind when you master your body. And you can only master your body if you have mastered your mind. Because it's the same thing. The mind equals the body, the body equals the mind. And so it really does not matter what you going to cultivate because it's the same. It will mirror in the other thing. So if you take a look at my body, you take a look at my mind. If you only hear my voice, you will have a certain representation of how I might look. So, back to the Morgan, to the melanin, to the seed, to the black hole, to the black consciousness, to the stressing, to the divine substance, to the sun, to being on or off, to the soul, to the eye, to the spark, the voice, the tone, and to the stone of yourself. That you could basically <laughs> um, flip or you could basically put different puzzle pieces in your own skull. When you put different puzzle pieces into your matter, then you're going to see what you haven't carried inside of your skull. And this is the bullshit that we see with the universities today. I'm talking about the universities, right? The universes. You... You don't know how consciousness works still you have no idea you you try to figure out how consciousness works you have no idea how antimatter works you have not even mastered your body you're not talking openly about the occulted the the dark the the 
the black, the not so good aspects of yourself. You are not talking about that in the universities. Then you are going to say these are go um, ghosts or conspiracy theories, whatever. And this is how you create this delusional aspect in society where we have these white and black things because I don't even know how to call them anymore which are so far away from your fucking self and you have not realized that it's all my I know the, the bullshit that I say online where I might everybody will laugh and be like oh you you know what yeah what the fuck are you doing over there and still you know what I do I master the highest signs that is there in the universe and it's sitting right here because if you know how to see, you get to the quantum level. And I could go, I could be a freaking astronaut and travel into the freaking skies, if it's even possible, I don't know. I've never been there. And I would see then that it's only my own perspective and perception of the world. I would see the Gaia, Mother Earth, with my own eyes. Still, I would be in freaking outer space. I would be in a dark matter. I would be in outer space. And I'm in outer space right here. So this is why I'm telling you to throw your ank, which is your anchor, in your own core, which is your body. Talking about your navel, your novel, your own story. So everybody writes his or her her own mystery and that's your life that's your story that's your Taurus field that's what you are and you should be as authentic as transparent as you are because this is the only thing how we will push and continue on being ourselves being what you are why should you put keep that in your subconscious mind I don't get it I really don't get it because the only thing the, the, the truth the truthfulness sits, and I'm damn sure about that. The truthfulness sits in every single freaking skull. And I'm saying freaking because you have to become the freak. You have to become the abnormal thing. You have to become the so-called dropout. Because this is what creates melanin. Because it's freaking stressing you and everybody around you. And only through this process, you will change the whole thing. You're not changing anything if you're doing the exact fucking bullshit everybody was doing before you. Literally before you. They were doing something and this is why, you know, you know how freaking hard this shit is? Because society is a giant hall of mirrors. And if we go through a certain aspect, if we go through a certain number, a certain potential, a certain, certain, so to say, breakthrough, we will mirror all the things to each other that we've learned from each other but the question is how deep was the thing rooted how deep was it what you mirrored to each other and this is why i'm holding up my space i'm holding up my my realm although you might call me a free a freak or whatever I'm telling you, the secret lays within your own Kundalini body temple. And I'm talking about the Morgan. So, you know what I do? I would call myself even the freaking N-word. Because from my point of view, there is no freaking separation between black or white. Because I am already an alien. I'm already gray. I've used it all together because I know about the science of alchemy. And I'm not showing you that anymore because that was creating trouble in my reality. But I'm damn sure about what I speak because I'm speaking openly about Shivambu Kalpa. Period. And nobody else is doing the freaking thing 
as I do. And this leads me also to the, to the aspect that maybe I'm only here on my own. Talking about <laughs> this certain level where I am, the freaking night hawk, which observes all the freaking thing. And I'm, in, I'm informing you with the true science of the body temple, period. The true science of your body temple that lies within. Talking about the stress. So, the, the arc mess, the lock or the hole, the psi, the KO. So you have to fall in order to get up. So you might ask yourself, yeah, you're representing something over here. It has no scientific sources, no scientific sources whatsoever. But you know what I have? I have 27 years of freaking lifetime experience and that's already enough to stand up for myself on my own freaking two feet and speak my mouth openly into the camera. And if you get something out of it or not, that's your perspective. I don't even know if you exist. But I can tell you the things that I've learned and the things that I've mastered in myself is the truth. And the truth is laying in every single body. If you would activate it or not, that's on you. I don't know if you do it. I don't know if you would be able to drink your freaking piss. I don't know if you would be able to gaze into the sunlight. I don't know if you're able to fast. I don't know if you're able to break your fucking dumb ass self. I don't know that. But you know what I'm, why I am putting so much pressure onto that? Because otherwise, there would not be the stressing part of melanin. And only through that, you are going to realize what you are. And I, you know what, I am, I am, I am the most calmest motherfucker that you would ever met if you would met me in real life. I'm not talking like that in real life. Maybe I should, but like, maybe, like I said, this is only a training stage because I know the freaking truth. And this is why I'm doing this shit. So the black sun, the pupil, the black sun equals the pupil. So this is how you're going to lack something. So this is how you're going to become low. Only if you get low, you will be able to rise. So this is how you will get into the real. Talking about the flow. Talking about Orion's belt. Talking about the black belt in martial arts. You know, all these martial artists, I don't even know if they exist. I don't know. I don't know if any of these beings exist. Because from my point of view, all the things that they are going to mirror out is freaking low. It's freaking low. It's kindergarten shit to me. And what, they, what these beings do are athletically is a completely different thing. But that what they do it alchemically, what they carry inside of their mind, why are they not tr talking transparent about the deepest insights that they have? Why isn't that? And this is why I'm saying nobody will catch me on that urine thing because this is the freaking truth. It is, I know for a fact. You're talking about on this Joe Rogan podcast about DMT, still nobody talks about urine therapy. Nobody talks about Shivambu Kalpa. And this is why I'm doing these talks because I'm seeding the freaking damn truth. I'm not about breaking the system. I'm not about... It, my intention is not about breaking the system and be like, you know, you should do it exactly like I do. That's not my point. But my point is to fuse the original things that all these ancient masters in the past were talking about. They were talking about the same thing. They were talking about alchemy. They were talking about the hermetic laws. They were talking about Kemet. And why do you not see these original truths and Use them with the things that we have right here, right now. It's only an invitation. <laughs> so, um, Amun Ra, antimatter, I. So you, you, right? You don't even know. You don't even know how language works. What it does. Why? Why it's here. What, how language basically organizes the sound resonator of the human body, the human mind avatar. 
And this is why, you know, you, you think you need certain licenses, you need certain PhDs, you need certain doctors to be somebody. And I honor all of the PhDs and doctors that we have. Still, I'm giving a freaking fuck to all of you who are talking shit because you are not talking about the original things. Do all your things that you've learned in university. Do all of it. But I invite you to try out something new. And I invite you to maybe do a fast on urine. I invite you to reduce all the things that you've learned. And I invite you and I'm reaching out my hand to you and I inspire you to say it one more time. Get into Shivamu Kalpa and you will know. Get into alchemy. Still, you might think I'm a freaking maniac. But that's not the point. I'm strong enough to speak about the truth. Although everybody, and I'm talking about everybody, is not showing you how it works. How it originally works. Because all the things that we've produced in society, although we think we're so freaking advanced, you don't know shit about your body. You don't know shit. As long as you have not even fasted for one day on urine, you don't even know who you are. I'm claiming this prophecy. Yeah, that's how it is. So, Bobby Hammett. I don't even, I, I don't even know Bobby Hammett, but I know about mirror consciousness. And I know if something resonates with me or not. See, and this is the trouble in this digitalization thing. <laughs> That we create holograms in an hologram and then nobody knows the real shit anymore. Nobody knows the real shit because we mirror all these freaking dumb things to each other. And nobody's freaking real anymore. Seriously. You're not real. So. Amun Ra. Antimatter. Ra Amun. Zero and one. Oren. Or neurochemistry. Oh, but what about vinyls, you know? Do you listen to vinyls? Or you still listen to your all digital shits? To your holograms? To The CD is literally a hologram. If you would get back to the original thing, I'm not telling you to go back to the ancient world and stay there. I'm not telling you to do the things that I do. But what I'm inviting you with is that you are going to see the, the things that you've learned in the past, fuse them with the now, and this is how we're going to create the future. And still, it, there, is, there will never be a future. There, will, there was never a past. There's only the now. And if you would spell now backwards, and this is why I'm giving you these blueprints, these mappings of consciousness. If you were in the now, you spell now backwards, you get to the word one. So you are one. You have already won. So you were winning the right here moment, the ohm mind, the moment. And is how you would see that there is nothing else. So if I, this is why these videos that I produce aren't even existing anymore. But what I do is freaking brilliant because I create my own Akashic records, which is only talking about the things that were rambling in my own mind, in the deepest parts of my mind. And I was strong enough to mirror them out. Still, I don't know if you are real. I don't know if you are real. But if you are real, you might get something from the deepest insights that were laying in my own skull, in my own schooling system. And this is how I'm seeding. The, uh, you know what I do? I do the real gardening work. 
I do the real gardening work because I'm dropping the freaking truth seeds in the, into the freaking Mother Earth realm, Gaia, which is basically talking about the black vagina. And I'm talking, I'm, to, I'm real enough to say that as you might see only a white dude. You might only see a white dude and you'll be like, yeah, oh, this guy's freaking retarded. He's talking about urine. He's talking about um, the black ones. Although he's white, this guy does no shit. <laughs> and you know what? You could be even on that perception or you could be here. That perspective doesn't matter because I'm speaking from here, from the deepest insides, from a chematic furrow outlook that I claim to have. And I fuse it with my heart, with all of the compassion that I have. All of these videos, I don't get anything for that. I do it because in the first place, I enjoy it. Secondly, I know this is the freaking damn truth because I, <laughs> I know that the human body is a sound resonator. I'm cultivating myself. I know cult, you know, every, every, everything is basically a cult. But I am cultivating myself in the practice of Falun Gong, Falun Dafa. It resonates with truthfulness, compassion and tolerance. And if you know how the body works, it's a very good fundament. You found the mind. To build something up on that. And you know what? This is where I am. But still, the foundational practices that I would recommend to you are Falun Gong. Martial arts. I do kickboxing for over 13 years. 14 years doing you know, it right now. I would recommend you to get into Shivambu Kalpa. Urine therapy. I would recommend you to fast more. To activate the morgan, the melanin. I would recommend you to sun gaze. And then we could talk about different things. You, I would recommend you to maybe sleep more. I would recommend you to drink more alcohol. But these are advanced practices. Because you would then figure out that if you know what alchemy is, you could always drink your urine. And then you balance yourself out pretty much immediately. You could hold urine in your mouth. And I'm strong enough to say that open on camera. And only this fact right here would show you that I'm not fucking around with you. My only intention here is to give you the freaking truth. And I do not want to have anything for that. I just do it because I know it's needed to do. This is what my soul needs to experience. This is what my soul is here for. Because I'm talking about my soul which was reincarnating in this material cross, the 33 vertebras of Jesus Christ. Je suis, I am. And then I can level up myself from the 33rd vertebra into the freaking skies. So right now, I am maybe, oh, I, let me show you something. You know, want to see my, my holes of a menti here? We're cleaning right now, but you know what? I show you. The 42 laws of Ma'a. It's a very important thing. Because it connects you with the chematic outlook on society. Oh, let, let, me, let me get uh, get my alchemy straight. Let me get my alchemy straight. So you might think this is crazy what I do. I'm telling you, no. It's the real thing, yo. I'm an ancient master. Although you might think I'm crazy, yo. That's not what's really pure. If you're strong enough to listen to me for 30 minutes, although you might think this guy is freaking insane, I'm like, nah, you just don't know. So, all right, let's add some, some more fire here. You know, why, why are <laughs> all these politicians, you know, in Oktoberfest, Oktoberfest, all the German politicians, they go to October. Yeah, I'm sorry. In October, all these, <laughs> <coughs> all, 
all these politicians go to the Oktoberfest and then they drink. Still, they don't know about, it's only about their own vessel. It's only about their own alchemy. And see, this is why I'm giving you these blueprints here. You, you might only gaze into that and you would realize who you are. You would realize what it is. And see, this all, the, only this thing here already breaks the freaking matrix. And I'm talking about cracking the nuts, which is basically talking about your skull, talking about your brain. Because your brain, you know Pink Floyd, your brain is a prism where a light beam comes through the eye. And then it will get into, it will transform into a rainbow. If, but only if, your nutshell is cracked. So this is why I'm talking about cracking the matrix. All the delusions, all the illusions that you had inside of yourself. And then you would start to see. So, let's get into this. Bobby Hammond's work, yo. So one of the most ancient arts to move and to then connect you to the one to one of the most ancient arts is the movement talking about the mind the movement art of kematic yoga and i would even be strong enough to break that and to go through and to speak that it's only about movement and this is what i was telling you in the very first beginning you have to master your own body this is what yoga is about you try to copy your master. And this is why I'm telling you it's about mirror neurons in your brain. It's about the melanin, the stressing aspect. Because the melanin would break the conscious mirror neurons in your brain. And then you would start to adapt these things that you've learned from your master. Take them and integrate them into something new and do something completely new with it. And only through this process of stressing, really integrating and learning something and building something new with that is how we're going to move on. So as long as you try to copy something which is already there, as long as you are not strong enough to go into the, onto the edge, See literally the emptiness that you fall into. In, you get into your Thoris field. You fall in, into the nothingness. You fall into the emptiness. You fall into the antimatter. Only in this period of emitting. Talking about time. Because time is only emitted through your own self. Because this is only an illusion. Only in that specific place you are going to realize something new. Only in this philosophical state, you are able to develop something completely new, which was never there, although it ever was, because everything is already here. And this is the ancient science of melanin. This is the ancient science that sits in your own skull, that sits in your pupil, because this is why it's black. I'm talking about black consciousness, black hole, your eye. Because the black consciousness, the black hole, sucks every light that you can resonate with here in. And this is basically, every technology that we will ever develop was already here. Talking about time and space, time travel. And But maybe it's not allowed to... To, time travel is not allowed because this is how we would rewrite the history. But I'm giving you more the blueprint of antimatter. And I would claim that antimatter sits inside of your skull. Everything gets saved already inside of your head. It's an infinity memory space. 
Because if you would look around in your real time, there are trillions, infinity things going on. But it's only about the direction and the hocus pocus focus that you direct your own self with. This is what you're going to realize. So you're going only to, you are only going to realize the things that you focus on. Nothing else. And I could give you certain practices to learn that. Some, some things from Kalari Payatu, an ancient Indian martial arts system, is the exercise of the eyes. And then if you would know, these two eyes, although they are freaking functioning in here, are still fooling. They are still fooling. You can have the most clearest vision. It's an illusion. Because the truth is sitting so deep in you. And I'm not, I'm not even there yet. I'm on my way to there. But like I said, it's probably about that the sucking antimatter aspect. It was always there, but still we were too blinded from the maya, from the illusion, from the whole hologram. See, and this is what black, the black hole is. The black hole, the eye, or the holy sign. And that could be even like, like I said, take nothing that I say for a word. Don't believe anything that I said. I was only giving you a giant circus show. If you learn something through that, that's on you. I mean, I would claim that it, at least it's my truth. I would see that you would learn a lot of things maybe th through this process. But still, I don't know. Because <laughs> there are wormholes and black holes everywhere. And the more you start to know, the more you start to understand that you don't know shit. <laughs> because it's only about the, the, the focused attention in that specific time frame that you have. That's your reality. Your reality is nothing else than your focus. Still, there are infinity amounts of things going on around you. But you're only focusing on that. And so this becomes your reality. And this is why I'm also talking about this mirror consciousness in society that we have. And this is basically mirroring to each other all this freaking bullshit that we see. And this is why things never really change. Although you carry inside of you the real things and you're not strong enough to break through because you keep doing all the shits that everybody tells you to do. But you should be freak. You should be a fucking freak. You should be abnormal. You should have abnormal behavior. And then you would start to see that this is how you seed different things. This is how you start to see that you seed truth. So. <clears throat> Divine substance, um, I see, or the I see, because this is a giant water realm. I mean, we could talk about air, the elements, the angels of the mind. Um, what basically energy is, energy is imagination. And uh, compressing energy, or what forms are, how we live in these boxes. That he's talking about the... I'm not telling you to be, oh, be open and only live in a tent. And I'm not telling you that. But I'm telling you to be aware of the shapes that you have around you. Be aware, like one more time, be aware of the shapes that you have around you and that you live in. Because it might have something to do with the metaphysics that are happening around you. Still, the most powerful thing is already living in you. You don't need to build a freaking pyramid because the pyramid is maybe increasing your resonation, but it's still a mind construct. It's only more densified. It might increase something 
in the actual, actual energy system. That's true. But certainly also, your soul will never be destroyed. You might sell your soul or you might put your soul into different things that you have to experience. But your real, your, your, the soul already is in you. And if I die, I'm going to be free. I'm going to break out of these things and then I know and I will see what was actually going on. Maybe I'm, I'm still talking bullshit and nothing of this is even real. I don't know. But what I'm doing is I'm inviting you to do things differently. And only through this process you will start to figure out who you actually are. So, Generator Operator Destroyer means G-O-D. So I am t talking about the electromagnetism that is happening around you. I'm talking about the imaginational aspect, the things that you start to spell out. Still, I, I know all these things that I'm preaching whatsoever. Um, maybe very chaotically, but this is what life is. It's structured chaos, organized chaos. Talking about the melanin one more time. The stressing aspect, the divine spark, the sproutings. You are like a tree, You're like a 3 3, 42, or maybe I'm already in level 93, whatsoever. <clears throat> but let's use Bobby Hammett's quotes here. Everything around you has been created for you by your subconscious mind. Talking about the Kundalini power, the spine power. This is what you do yoga for. To realize the original workings that are already imprinted in you. Still, you look on the outer for something that was already in the inner or in the inner. But then if you start to realize it's in the inner, you start to realize the real thing. And the real thing is not sitting in the inner. It's not sitting in the outer. It's sitting in the inter. You get it? It's sitting in the inter. It's sitting here in the inter. So we are talking about the internet. Now the internet is a slower format, like I said, of the ethernet. The ethernet was already here. Everything that we put in from into this realm from technology was already in the ether graph, but we are too slow to see that. I'm pretty sure this is how it works. Everything is already in the antimatter. It sits there. So we only pull things out from there that were already there from a different timeline. Because, you know, this is what shamans do. Shamans exist outside from the whole thing. They see the things and we are based... I mean, I get kind of goosebumps, but... We, we, we see these things, right? From an outer perception. And we get in there to, to operate and see different things. And then we go and we, I was never here. You know, I, I'm gone. <laughs> but this is basically, you know, what time is, what time travel. Right? We could talk about outer space and, like I said, microscopes and um, telescopes. They are basically only a slower format of the pupil. Talking about the eye, talking about the antimatter, talking about the melanin, the stressing. You could look out into the skies. You could look into the freaking earth. Still, the real science sits in all chem eye, in the chem eye, in the chematics, in the chematic yoga. Or we could even go to the polarians and you would figure out your, all, your ancestral knowledge why do you think I know all these shits? I'm not even reading a lot of books. The only book that I read occasionally is the Tsuan Falun from Falun Gong Falun Lapa. Now, why is that a very good thing? 
it is very good thing because originally you are not even real. You are po you are a Polarian beings talking about non-color, talking only about your ether-like being, your ether-like state of mind, which is basically all around you. Talking about your pole, your polarian, or I could say spine area, or maybe dark matter, antimatter in your skull. And I'm still learning, you know, I'm not talking, I'm not claiming to, to know anything. I'm just speaking about what is in my brain. Everybody should do that. This is how we would make the whole thing more diverse. It would become a freaking rainbow. It would become magical. Talking about imagination, talking about the black thing that sits inside of your skull that you start to mirror out. This is why I'm claiming to be God. So is everybody else. I'm not more powerful than you. Maybe you are even more powerful than me, but you don't know that. But why would it be that there would sit something else in front of you or above you that is more powerful than yourself? Why would that be? I'm not talking about anarchy. I'm not talking about rebelling against the systems that we have. I'm not talking about that. But I'm talking about the truth. I'm talking about the original things. I'm talking about being who you authentically are. And if you would become that, freaking doesn't matter what anybody says. That's you. And that by itself is completely enough to stand up for what you are and show that to the world. And th I'm saying that one more time. I'm showing that it's a show. Everything is a show. Because we could talk about also the alchemical process of the Healy, the Heidi, spelled with an Y. Hi, H Y L E. In German, it's called Hülle. Talking about the shell. Now, what if you would crack open the nutshell, if you would break open the shell, maybe the seashells. What would you get? You would get a pearl. Now everybody looks actually for the white pearl. But what you do not get is Captain Jack Sparrow, the giant pirate. And you know who I am. I'm Jan Schunemann. J.S. Jesui. I am. Jesus. 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 Or... Maybe I should say Jack Sparrow, JS, shows you how these whole freaking things work. And I'm pirating all the freaking truth into the system. Because I'm a one-eyed pirate talking about the black pearl that sits right here. That sucks everything in. And I'm getting to the original thing one more time. Activate the Morgan. Activate the melanin. That this is the divine substance that sits in the roots of your spine. But it only will activate if you start to stress yourself. Now what we basically do with all these smartphones and if we, with these so-called vaxes. All these bees that fly around in here are going to get a shot artificially to activate the melanin to maybe get the human race to that state where everybody was in the past. Now, if you would know how to activate melanin really, you would activate it through the stressing of yourself, talking about being natural, talking about being chematic. I was visiting with my family the Kenyan tribes of how how are they called? We were visiting the I, I'm not getting the name right now of them. But we were visiting the original people from Kenya. 
I could also talk about the Dogen people. You know, the, the most original people are having the most highest spiritual, you call it right now, science. But it's basically, basically signs of nature, signatures. If you write something on the paper, you put your signature under that. You would spell differently. It's a sign of nature. And you're not basically getting that you are, you're writing with ink. It's blue. Now the royals in the past, the kingdoms, the kings of the domes, the kings of the heads, were putting their signature under the paper, in the, on the paper, see, which was created from a leaf, which is basically talking about nature because it's talking about the tree, the tree tree, the 33 spines. They are putting their signatures under a specific paper with a blue ink talking about the royal blood. Now we could talk about also what Shivambu Kappa urine therapy is. Urine therapy, urine is more clearer than your blood. One more time, urine is more clear than your blood. If you would put alchemically Blood and urine in one glass. The urine would sit on top. Now I'm talking about density and buoyancy. If something is more heavier, darker, it falls down. If something is higher, it raises up. So this is why it shows you already, already you, you have not to do any laboratory tests because the alchemists knew. The alchemists knew about the original things. The hermetics knew because they were spiritual beings. You have not to go into a freaking lab and test all the shit because you would only you would only know. I was only I was doing Shiva Mukapa. I am doing urine therapy. And of course I was researching that. But is that important for my mind process? No. The most important thing for my mind process is what I'm going to show to the world. How the how fuck do you think I know all of these things? Am I telling you a story? Maybe. Everybody is a storyteller raper. Because originally we should not even speak. But you talk, you are opening up your mouth in the freaking damn light televisions. They tell lies to your visions. So I'm participating in this freaking hologram games. And I'm putting this, I'm seeding the truth in here. And I don't know how long I'm going to do that, but this is just my soul track because I'm listening to vinyls. I'm not listening to CDs or... I mean, I'm listening obviously also to the freaking smartphone shits. But I know the original things are vinyl. I know the original things are sitting in my pupil. They are sitting in my skull. My antimatter. So, Amun-Ra, zero one, Oren. Neurochemistry. Talk about the alchem I, the Ankh, all is, the Isis, Osiris, Orion's belt, the black belt, the black pupil, the black people of creation. The point of creation sits in your own pupil. Talking about the highest science, the Kundalini. So, here we are. The Alchemai, the Ankh. The Ankh is the original symbol of nature. Now, the original thing of nature is not even the Ankh, it's just the mirror of you. That's already what it is. Now, the Ankh is an ancient symbol of Kamet, representing the birthing and the ejaculation, the sim biotical being of black and white, the, sim the symbiosis between male and female, the fusing together of yin and yang. And these are imaginations, energies that sit inside of you. The original marriage was that you were marrying yourself, talking about the Polarians. I love my girlfriend, I love my... I love Antigona because I'm learning through that a lot of things. You know, I could even go into the deepest insides of my brain and I could show you that. 
Now, deepest insights are that I am basically the black eye. The pineal gland. The J that hooks everybody up. You know, it's J is like an angel, an angel that you are fishing with. Because this is what Jesus, Jesus does. It, he lifts you up. Now, we could also flip that symbol around. You get into the Nikol, Nikolas, Nikolas, Nikolas or Martin, you know. That was shamans do. The original sh Santa Claus was a shaman, a Siberian shaman. Now, Coca-Cola CC was lying to you because they were putting that. Talk about the Am Amanita muscaria, the mushrooms. They were getting that symbolism and putting that into their brand when it's originally about consciousness it's about your own brain all the things that i was describing to you in the in the past so antigona is basically my um my uh, secretion or better to say my uh, the gland in german it's called hirnanhangdrüse so I don't know the the, uh, the original thing here to, in English, in English. But nevertheless, it's about getting deep into your own school. Getting deep into your own skull. And this is what will be mirrored out to you. Why the fuck you think oh, I, I, I just speak so openly? Because I break through all these layers in my illusions. And I always try to speak as transparently and truthful and open-minded to the camera as I can. I don't know how many people will listen. I don't know how many views it will get. But that's not in my interest. Because in my interest is being true. And being transparent. And being deep. And so it will be. And because, like, one more time, I know how language works. I know how language organizes you. This is why you should not read as so many scientific papers. Because these scientific papers fuck around with your spirit. So you start to believe all the things that some scientist was doing for you. It's not in your interest if somebody figured out something. Because the original thing sits in you. And you should find out you. You should not find out what somebody else was doing. That's bizarre. Why, should, why would you do that? I mean, obviously, you can get into another master... Mirror day craft, learn something from that. Yeah, but you will never be your master. You will never be them. You will only be your own master. Talking about your own spine. Because the mast equals your spine. The mast are Ra, light bringer. Now the real light sits in the dark. Because this is talking about your black light that comes out of your pupil. So you will get there when you are low, when you're lacking something. This is when you become, when you be Become creative when you start to flow, when you get into the Rio, the Orion's belt, the black belt, the black people. And you will start to see the whole logram, the holy, the whole, the illusion, the Maya, the Ankh. And you will start to hopefully anchor yourself then in your novel, in your own story, in your navel, to find out. And find in that this is all coming out of you. So, whatever. And then I'm like, oh, what to do? Experience and enjoy this realm and let it be whatever it will be. I do these freaking videos as long as I do them. I should, I hold up this room as long as I can, as long as I want. And if I'm going to leave, 
I will leave all the knowledge here. But I was never here. Because all the original knowledge was already here. The quest is if you are able to see it. If you are able to know it. Talking about the Gnosis. The Isis. Now, uh, the last shot for this video. <laughs> I'm talking about the Alchem Eye. You might think this guy is crazy. But no, I know just how to activate melanin. Talking about the dark matter, the antimatter, which is the highest sign. Because this here is an imaginational realm of yourself. That's what it is. I don't need any licenses to claim something. I only need my heart and my brain. And for example, all these apps. These apples, talking about the secret secretion, secret secretion in your brain that happens when your brain opens, when your kundalini, when your spine energy hits your inner skull, your inner school. This is when you start to realize that Basically, nothing is real. And it's only a question of how you organize the shell, how you organize the shape. This is what yoga does. So this is why I'm telling you, master your temple, master your body, so you will master your mind. You could always also start to master your mind first. And then it will mirror out into your body. So, you know, and I would say, keep your mind open. Sometimes it fucks around with me because I'm very open and I'm getting into these things that I'm getting into because I'm an open vessel. And if I move around in society, I get organized with all kinds of bullshits that I, that they, whoever they are, try to put onto me. Am I interested in that? Actually not. But because I move in this realm, I get already organized with it, if I like it or not. So, the real thing is to know how to get rid of things and how to construct things. Talking about alchemy. Talking about your mind. Mind alchemy, basically. So you do not need any substances. You don't need anything. I'm not talking about if you would be like, oh, he's, he's drinking alcohol. He's maybe smoking cigarettes. Who the fuck cares about that shit? In the first place, you should not even look at my videos. You should only listen to my voice and if it resonates with you. And if it resonates with you, you would listen. Because there is something deep inside of you. Talking about the melanin. The dark substance that remembers, that remembers the mamba, the black mamba. You know, the kill bell, the, the, the snake, it gets into you. It bites, uh, wasn't it biting out the eye? Get it? So you get psycho. So you KO all the things that you thought were real. And you were realizing the deepest layer that this shit was all an illusion and you were basically constructing that out of yourself to remember yourself. Damn. <laughs> so, um, Isis, or let's talk about the snake. I was talking about the black mamba. And ice is equals is equals Isis, equals Osiris, or maybe Siri. You know, this app on these smartphones, pupils. <laughs> and also then talking about um, the black consciousness, the chematics, and talking about sake, snake sake, talking about the Japanese way. You know, I'm training at Ninja.
Um, in Japan, they drink alcohol, which is called sake. Now, basically, it's not important what kind of alcohol it is. I mean, it is if it's how it's produced, but from a very bird's eye perspective, perspective it's about the distillery process. One more time, the most intelligent distillery was already imprinted in yourself. It's called urine therapy. Are you able to drink your urine? Like I said, I'm not showing you that anymore. It was creating trouble. Maybe I'm creating trouble with that here, but I don't think so. Because it's basically the original things, the truth. And it's making me freaking smile. <laughs> so, um, all, let's, let's spell it like this. All chi my, my I, my role. All chi my role. Or let's say, all is chem. All is chem, the ank. All chem I. All ank ko ro. Or the k-hole. The k-hole, you know, I do kickboxing, karate. You get into the hole. If you start to get the black belt, you get to the pupil. That's what the black belt is about, the black mamba. Talking about the kundalini energy, the spine energy, the penis, the phallus, the root chakra. Talking about non-sexuality, talking about higher stages of consciousness. Talking about black magic, talking about black imagination, talking about kematic yoga. Talking about melanin, the morgen. It's, you know what we say in Germany? Or what my girlfriend used to say to me? And now I'm, because I'm able to freaking hear between the words. She says, morgen. One more time. She says, morgen. Like, why the fuck are you saying morgen? What is wrong with you? Now it hit, it was hitting something in me. That's why I'm producing all of these shits. Was it, one more time, Morgen. In German, you would say Morgen. Guten Morgen. She's so like, good morning. Good morning. You more. You get it? So you start to remember. The lion's den. I'm even beyond the lion because I'm a freaking white tiger. You should research the white tiger and who it is and what it does. Then you know who I am. So, I'm pr I'm pr basically protecting the Dharma. But I want, what I'm also, also doing is I'm showing you the truth. So, all chem I, all co ho, all ch si ho. So you get here from the ho, from the H O, or like let's say H O two, like water, you know, the si ho, roll. So from the, if you, you need to know in the first place how I'm constructing all of this that each and every single letter is a sign on its own. And you could flip and trick that around and it would become something completely different. Talking about magic. The highest form of your low science. Because magic is interacting with antimatter. The spaces in between. Goosebumps, yo. The spaces in between are organized through the symbols that you create for yourself. Talking about your own magic. Talking about your own imagination. <laughs> so... You would become a way better wizard if you would activate the Morgan, 
the melanin, the black hole, the black antimatter consciousness, the black sun sitting in your pupil. Because this is where all the light, like I said, gets sucked in. Now, if you know how to create your own sigils, you would know how to activate and to work with your own magic. This is right here, pure magic. If you would shut down your device, you're not able, you, what do you see? You see black. If you're closing your eyes, what do you see? You see black. So what you basically learn through this process is that on this surface here that you see on your smartphone, but basically this is only a representation of your reality. Because if you would do this, you get it? Now, the surface that you see in reality is equal to the surface on your smartphone. Now, you can program all kinds of apps and programs on your smartphone. Still, you're not able to program whatever you would like to see in your reality. Now, why is that? That is because you have not, you, you, you are still in this program where you think technology is advanced. You think technology is mightier. You think technology is higher than you. You know what this is? This shit is freaking toys to me. It's freaking toys. This is so damn slow. Still, you are like, oh, I got this new smartphone whatsoever. I don't give a damn. Because you should use. Now, one more time, talking also about the human is basically the enemy that you have to destroy. Talking about higher God. But also, I'm telling you to use the magic for the empowerment, the mind. For the whole. Talking about the whole. Now you get into the whole, you start to see that all is one. Doesn't matter if it's dead or alive. If you know about alchemy. Still, everybody would have like to have it nice. But is nice always the truth? That's on you, right? So use your magic for your own, sure. But use the magic also for the truth. And the truth is already in you. You have to dig in deep to find it out. So, the K hole. The K hole is talking about your pupil. The C hole row, the chi, or also spelled differently with an other symbol. You know what the the ancient Egyptians were using. Um. The ancient Egyptians were using hieroglyphs. Now, nowadays we're using emojis. Emojis are hier hieroglyphs. That's it. Now, the highest science would be, one more time, to create your own magic, to create your own symbols. Now, if you would create your own symbols, you would create your own Hieroglyphs. So you would create your own reality with that. I'm talking about that. I'm, you should not listen to me. You should not believe any sing. You should not believe a single word that I was talking about. But if there might be something that you resonate with, that's another story. That's something that you were triggered by. That you should. Damn, integrate right now into your life. Stop this video and use it right now. Because this is the truth. This is your truth. And your truth will survive. So, all co-roll, chi, chi, 
or you know what the Q also is? The Q could be an egg, which is where a semen enters in. One more time, an egg where a semen enters in. Now this is what chi is. Everybody talks about, you know, this chi. If you get into Falun Gong, Falun Dafa, this is a way more advanced concept than the chi because you were called, you are cultivating a Falun. Now, since I'm doing Falun Gong for a lot of years, I know that I am on the chi men way. It's a very special way of cultivation because it's not for many beings. It's one of the side tracks, but it's also a very truthful way of cultivating my soul. So this is why you might say sometimes, this guy is kind of crazy, but I like him. <laughs> he inspires me. And you know what? This is what it's about. You will not remember anything of these videos, but you will remember an essence. And this essence, I don't know what it is for you. Well, this is what will you carry with you. And this is what empowers you. Because it's in you. So, talking about the intention. You know, my intention here is not to make money. Still, I, I like to have money. But more so, it's about if you really get on that soul track, if you really understand what spirit is, what I'm doing here is I materialize spirit or I spiritualize my voice. I'm talking about things nobody else is talking about. So, um, let's hear the point of creation is the pupil. Now this is where you start to see that you are on a constant observer perception. And the constant observer perception is basically observing your own mind, what is going on in your reality. Now you will mirror that in and out all the freaking time. And this is what basically consciousness is. It's the interaction between two things. That's what is. Nothing else is. Because this is the point of focus. So this is the symbol for the chaos star. The chaos star that sits in the skull, in the school. Because I'm about, you know, it, that's my track here. Or that's my soul track. My soul track is about truthfulness. My, my soul track is about the truth. And we can talk about my truth and your truth. I'm talking about truthfulness. You know, truth, full. So the horn is filled with truth, of the Antichrist, so to say. And Ness, talking about the Psy or the KO, the Loch, Loch Ness monster, the whole. So the whole science of melanin, getting into Bobby Hammond's work again. The whole science of melanin is about stressing the seed, stressing the Morgan, which sits in the roots of your spine. To realize consciousness. It takes freaking time. It's not nice to get there. Let me tell you this. But only through this process I'm able to tell you what it is. I'm able to stand up for myself and show you that. Like realm changer. Whatever. You know. But in the end, you know, let humans be humans also. Yeah, I get it. You know, I'm not here to rip it all apart and be like, you should only follow me. That's not my point. But my point is, let's see more truth in here. Let's see more original things in here. Let's go back and figure out what they were really talking about in Kemet. I'm not talking about Egypt. I'm talking about Kemet. Talking about Kemetic yoga. I'm opening up my voice to that. Because it's about opening up the pathway 
in your own body. That's what it's about. You should, you should open up the pathway which is black. From your mouth to your asshole, there's a black tunnel. And you are going through that. This is how you would realize what consciousness is. You never go anywhere. Only the freaking mirrors in front of you are changing. This is what digitalization is. We create different mirrors here. We create different, so to say, ideas. But in the first place, all these mirrors, what are they? They are a representation of ourselves. And this is how we organize the whole system. Because, and this is what also the Greeks were doing, you know, all these ancient cultures, what were they using? They were using mosaic pictures. This is nothing else what we do. Consciousness is just re-experimenting with itself. Consciousness is just rediscovering itself. Still, what consciousness is probably laughing at herself. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing with this technology? You think this is this shit is, is advanced? <laughs> you don't know anything. Consciousness is a mosaic picture. And I'm not claiming to be the highest thing, but if you would put all the puzzle pieces together, you would probably get to a white tiger. I don't know why I have it inside of me. You know what? <laughs> I don't know. But you know what? I figured that out and I'm like, you know what? Whatever, Jan. Show it to the world. Whatever will happen. You're good. <laughs> so, the thing is, if we would understand what we have here, everybody is basically a bee in the world. Waking up. Or you are a spirit boxed up in your freaking dump as thought patterns in your smartphone. You're squared up. You are boxed up in the mosaic picture. But the beautiful thing here is that if we connect with each other. Now this is also talking about shapes. You know, if you were in the, in the rope or in a net, you have more points of contact with other beings. If you were in a square where many, most beings are, you know, their pupils are literally squared up. Like we could also talk about, you know, bread and plays from the Roman Catholic churches and the Roman Empire. You know, like football and soccer and whatsoever, all these games, you know. It's about keeping your spirit in an encapsulated version where you're not able to tap into your highest form, which is talking about becoming a wizard. Because you just fucking express yourself because you don't want, you do not worry. This is why the wizard is way more powerful than the warrior. This is why I am a ninja. Ninja is combining black magic with fighting arts. Still, I would never fight you. If you would come to me in real life, I would be the freaking nicest dude that you would ever met. I would only listen to you. And then I would be like, hey, you know, if there might be something that you need, I would be like, hey, you know, I might drop on this. Or maybe I'm not dropping in anything. I'm just listening to you because this is the highest form. Because the highest form is to interact with spirit. You think it's weird to be with somebody and nobody's talking. This is the highest form of interaction. This is the highest form of conversation. Because you meld your minds. Now, um, the holy gram, the holy illusion, the maya, the ang, the anchor, the core seated, the novel and the navel. Now, the anchor is basically a Nordic sign or a sign of the harbor traders, which was basically coming from Kemet, talking about the Egypts, the Kem eyes. Now the highest things, I, uh, the highest, uh, in verbalization, I cannot express the highest things. It's impossible. Maybe I could just record a black screen or I could record nothingness. I could record just a still being. This is the highest thing. Still, it will not verbalize the, the workings. Now, what a shaman does, I'm trying to put 
these workings as clear as I can, mirror it out through my own process, through my own delusions, through my own workings. And this is why they are already misinformed. I know that still, but I'm trying to be as clear as I can on to you, but be like, hey, this guy is drinking alcohol in front of the camera and then he tries to be clear. What the fuck? Yeah, but it's about rambling out your spirit. That's what it's about. And if you, you, you for all these light workers out there, get into darkness. For all these people who are in the dark, get into the light. So this is how you would become an alien. This is how you would be not from this world, but you're on this world. And then I choose to be emp an empowered alien. So in my in power mind sits in the alien, sits in the gray substance that is basically fusing together the black melanin with the white substance that I get represented from my delusions here fusing it together into the brain matter. This is what alchemy is. Now, and you don't need any source. You don't need anything. You're worthy to stand up for yourself and just be yourself. And everybody does it in social media and that's great. I love it. But I'm inviting you to go in deeper. And the reason why you should go in deeper is to raise up higher because you can only raise up as high as low as you have been. So this is why I'm inviting you to lack something. This is why I'm inviting you to reduce your consumption patterns. This is why I'm inviting you to get low. This is why I'm inviting you to maybe try out Chibambu Kalpa for a lot of reasons. This is why I'm inviting you to be more natural. But for all these naturalists out there, I'm inviting you to become more chaotic, become more AI-like and try to, you know, this is what at least my philosophy right here is. And I'm pretty sure I'm the only one in this planet here. This is why I'm showing it to the world. I put in everything that I've learned. And I can only put in everything when I get to a certain extreme, when I get to a specific peak of a star, you know? You have this direction, this, 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 this. And this is what the body is. So, and if you get into a specific peak, you have to reduce the other thing, right? Left, zero, one, up, down, left, right, whatever. It's imprinted in your core. In the... And I am there. I'm pretty sure I am there. Still, I could in dig a lot deeper. I'm showing it. <laughs> so, get into your black hole. Get into your onk, your uncle, your aunts. <laughs> get into your ancestors. And... The way to go there is through yourself. The way to go into history is through yourself. It's not about, I have read, I've read this book. I have done that research. I have done that television. It's about knowing that consciousness sits in between. Talking about one more time, the topic of this video, the Morgan, or how did I name that? Activate Morgan signs of melanin. So let's let's put a nice number here in this video. Um, maybe I get to one thirty-three because the number of forty-two is not as. I mean, it's coming. I see it. I see that forty-two is coming. That's good. But still, we push it maybe to the 33 one more time to get people to the skull level. And from there on, we can level up into the infinity realm. So in the infinity realm is basically sitting yourself. And then in the end, there's basically sitting no self. But this is where you find yourself.
Sounds so bizarre, right? It sounds like, what the fuck is your talking about? Yeah. But seriously, you will find yourself in nothingness. And you will also find the infinite amount of creation in the seed that is becoming you when you fall. Yes, see it like this. You fall into nothing. Like literally, it completely emptiness, completely, I should have a donut right now. <laughs> we should go, also could get into the Simpsons and the pulleys and to the donuts, but, and to the spine and to what the pole is and the, the ice, you know, the subconscious mind and how, to, how words are basically working. But <laughs> the thing is basically to understand that the, the police is representing security for you. Now, what freedom is, free, like, like I said, freedom is basically having a free mind. So having an open mind. So you could put everything into the body. Still, nothing is more powerful than yourself. Nothing. You could be white, you could be black. But your mind is what looks out of yourself, the antimatter. Now, this is why you could try to hold and drag me down as much as you can. As much as you try to do that, the more power I will gain through that. Because this is how the black hole is functioning. You try to put, like, the, the only thing that you could do is try to ignore me. But this is already over. Because I'm expressing myself. And that's why it's over. So the black antimatter is always there. Antimatter will, everything will freaking die here. You would try to structure it. You would try to, you try to, um, like I said, you try, yeah, structure, order it. You can't. It's impossible. It's already chaos. And this is the truth. This is the melanin. Because melanin is helping you remember the original things. And the original things are always securing. That's a form of perception and perspective. So inform yourself about sacred secretion. So truthful techniques, sacred secretion, semen retention. So non-masturbation for beginners. If you really advance and you get into magic and you could always also use your semen or your, you know, menstrual blood or something like that, all the substances that your body creates. But in the first place, get into no fab. So stop looking porn and that shit. Um, get into um, Shivambu Kalpa, get into fasting, get into sun gazing, get into distilled waters. Now, if you've cleaned out your temple, get into a certain mind practice, for example, Falun Gong, Falun Dafa. And from there on, you can organize yourself of all kinds of different things. So that's talking about your imagination process, your magic. So activate the, mol the melanin, the morgan, the black consciousness, and listen to your own signs. I love you. 33 and 42. Uh, shout outs to Bobby Hammett's work. Uh, John Shamanic, John Schwedeman, I love you. I hate you, yo. Melanin.